Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Coffee on the trail is an integral part of life, at least if you're like me. There's nothing wrong with a simple drip coffee, but sometimes you want something just a little more opulent. So why not make a latte on the trail? The ultimate latte. Sometimes you need the perfect piece of gear. Sometimes you need to make the perfect kit. And sometimes you just need the perfect cup of coffee. Gear can be confusing, but it doesn't have to be. No BS, no agenda, no sponsors, just what you need to know. Welcome to the ultimate. A latte is a drink made out of espresso and steamed milk. It's a different proportion that you'll find with your cappuccino. As well as being steamed, your milk really should be frothed because you want just a little bit of foam on top of your latte. So you're gonna need three components. You're gonna need your espresso, you're gonna need steamed milk, and you're gonna need foam. There are a lot of ways to make espresso coffee on the go, but the convenience of an electric espresso maker is pretty hard to beat. That's why I chose my K-Flow portable espresso maker for this kit. Now to extend battery life, K-Flow made this espresso maker unable to heat water. So we have to provide water already heated. We'll have to do that some other way. Next, you'll need some coffee, and this particular product uses Nespresso pods. I'm doing that for a couple of reasons, but mainly to stop people from constantly accusing me of ruining the environment by accusing me of throwing my spent coffee grinds all over the woods. In case you're wondering, I will be carrying out my Nespresso pod today with me from the woods the same way that I always carry out my grinds. The proportion of milk that you use is pretty high on the milk over coffee, so you need something very strong. So I usually use dark espresso roast pods, and that's what we've got today. Next, you're gonna need your steamed milk, and preferably a way to froth it, and we've got a really easy way to do that here on the trail today. Now, there's a difference between a latte and a cappuccino. Cappuccino has equal proportions of coffee, milk, and foam, where a latte has a lot more milk, some espresso, and a scant amount of foam on top. If you're new to all this, don't worry, the new Paleo Hiker MD Barista series will be coming out soon. I'm just kidding. When you're heating your milk, you wanna make sure you do it very slowly so you don't scald the bottom. Now it's gonna be kinda of hard not to scald the milk at all, so don't kill yourself if you do. You're always gonna get a little bit of scalded milk at the bottom of your pot when you're using inexact stoves like these backpacking stoves. Don't over froth it, just get enough to put on top of your latte. Last thing you're gonna need is a mug, so.
time than your standard cup of joe, but sometimes on a nice morning hike, there's nothing better than treating yourself to a little Starbucks on the trail. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to make espresso on the trail. You can use traditional mocha type pots, but I've got this espresso maker from K-Flow and I find it to be super convenient. It makes extremely good espresso every single time. And I actually like the pods because it's easier to clean up. Whenever you're going out and about, sometimes you just wanna be on the go. You don't wanna to have to worry about cleaning out uh, the grinds and stuff. You can also use this as a travel kit and it's real easy to get rid of those pods. So just my preference. You also don't need to froth your milk, but it's, it's kind of nice to do so. If you're gonna go ahead and steam it, you might as well froth it, right? If you're one of those people who believe strongly that you should only drink coffee when it's dark black and you can pretty much stand your spoon upright in it, give this a try. You never know. You might come over to the dark side. As I said earlier, this is part of my Ultimate Series, a really nice series here on the channel designed to help you go straight to the point of the kit you're wanting to make. I'll leave a link down below to the playlist. You'll find lots of different Ultimate Series videos. Make sure you check that out. Do me a big favor, guys. If you like the Ultimate Series and you like this Ultimate video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube and is very helpful, not only to help my channel grow, but also tells me what you guys like and what you don't like so I can kind of decide what content to put out into the future. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, whether they be new Ultimate Series videos or any other videos here on the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll be the first to know. If you don't hit the notification bell, you could be like these crows over here who are clearly upset that my videos aren't showing up on their streams every time that I release a new video. You don't want that fate. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.